everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy podcast, episode number 325. Welcome. Well, I have um, three finished objects, well, two are duplicates, <laughs> finished objects, and uh, three works in progress. So let's get started, and I'll show you what I've worked on, and also have uh, some upcoming things to talk about. Okay, so... Um, my finished objects. <laughs> so I finished the preemie hat number three and number four for the month of September. Uh, this is to go to the um, one of the hospital area hospitals here, their NICU department for their Halloween hat drive. So I want to make four every month up until next month. And so um, I've been keeping up with that. And so I had to do two more for September and I ended up doing two of the same. This is based on the children's book, The Hungry Caterpillar. And so that's what I made, a hungry caterpillar. <laughs> it That's exactly what the character looks like in the um, the story. And so I just, I made two of them. So there you go. The pattern I will link down below in the description box. Now I did size it down for preemie hat size. I think I went down a couple of hook sizes and then also I um, I used, I did use worsted weight yarn for the pieces, but I went down even to a smaller hook size for the, the pieces. Anyway, there you go. So number three, number four, four, September. So that makes a total of 36 hats now that I have made and ready to be donated. Uh, I do want to, uh, my goal was to do 40. And so um, that means I need four more that I need to um, pick to make uh, for, you know, for October, for next month. And, but uh, I need to do them early because um, I need to get them to the lady uh, that was going to be collecting them to take them to the hospital um, in, in time for Halloween. I had messaged her because I hadn't heard anything about, usually she'll make like an announcement on her Facebook page asking for the hats or to start making hats. And I hadn't heard anything. So I did send a message to her asking her if she was indeed doing it this year again. And she said, yes, the time had just gotten away from her. So she did make her announcement on her Facebook post or, you know, a, po a post about it. And so, um, I, um, like I said, I'd love, I want to make four more and that will give me 40. And then also I will be adding the hats that Terilyn made and sent to me. Uh, her YouTube channel is all yarned up and, and she sent me a bag of, I believe there's like 50 preemie hats in there or 55, something like that. I didn't count them, <laughs> but, um, they're really nice and and it was so sweet of Cherilyn to make the hats and and I of course told her that I would definitely include them in the donation and I already told the lady whose name is Jennifer I already told Jennifer about it and she was really excited to get the hats so that is my finished objects number one and number two finished objects number three is another one of the mini bears these are the little bears that I was going to make for my uh, great niece and it's supposed to be teddy bears bears for her dolls, the two dolls that I had previously made for her. And so and now I make it, I made her the cat right here. <laughs> and then I thought, well, I'm going to make a teddy bear each for one of her, do the dolls that I made for her. And so I found this pattern by the loopy lamb. I think it's the loopy lamb or just loopy lamb. I'll link it down below in the description box, as well as the, the hat pattern in all the patterns I talk about <laughs> anyway. Uh, so I had made this one and it's like I said, it's a, a called the mini bear, I guess, something like that, uh, from the loopy lamb. And so I, um, I use worst of weight yarn, um, the same hooks. Oh uh, no, I think I went down. I think I used an F hook and I think she had, she used a bigger hook, but I always like to use at least an F sometimes even a which is a 3.75 and sometimes even go down to a 3.5 for my amigurumis. But anyway, I had made this one and showed you this one before and I had said that I wanted to make another one but a different color and so I ended up making a pink one. And so there you go. Same pattern. This one, the ears look bigger for some reason, but but yeah, same pattern, far as I know, unless I got the the stitch count off. <laughs> anyway, there is the bears. They are done. The cat is done. So that was going to be included in her birthday gift. So I'm excited to um, 
give it to her. Okay, so that is all my finished objects. Going on to works in progress, I have one crochet works in progress, and it is the C Christmas Eve Wishes blanket. And so I did finish um, the Grafgan section of the Santa hats, and so I was able to, uh, look, no bobbins. I've got tails to weave in, but I was able to get the bobbins, you know, get, get it finished up where I could cut the bobbins off. So now I can show you. Okay, so here is the progress. This is my latest section. That's just a stitch marker there. Uh, this is my latest um, P, uh, the section, the Grafgan section, all finished. I end up doing, I think the, that the, the pom-pom on the Santa hats, those are all just loose. I've got to weave in. <laughs> but uh, this, I believe, was supposed to be a bobble stitch, and I ended up making a popcorn stitch. Um, I think it made the little, little, puffs uh look bigger and i like that so anyway there it is that section had 10 santa hats all the way across <laughs> and so i'm finished with that now i need to uh, because when i'm doing these graph gan sections i have to go up i'm about to say down no up hook size because it's a tighter stitch and so i need to go back down to the original hook size and continue on the next section is another one of these right here which is called a candy cane row or something and so that's what's going to be on top of these hats is this right there yeah and then 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 some other ones some other um pieces or uh, rows i think and then the the next which is the final graph gan section and originally it's going to be this the snowflake section down there at the bottom but I really don't want to do the snowflake section again because that was a lot of work. <laughs> um, and I just don't feel like doing it again. <laughs> so uh, I, th I was thinking first, I thought, well, maybe I could just end it off here. I mean, you know, put something like this and then this end up at the top. I think that's what it is. No, at the bottom, look, see, it's a green bubble. Um, but I don't think it's going to look right without putting that other band of red, you know, this to balance out the top. I don't, uh, I don't know. Also, it's not that big, so as far as top to bottom. So I don't know. I was just trying any way I can think of to get out of that and doing another graph section, but um, I don't know. I'm, but I, what I originally thought about doing is using, doing another one with the red background to balance it out, but instead of doing the snowflake, do another image that's easier to do and so I'm, I may go with that original idea and do that so anyway that is my progress I am on row 120 no 121 and about to start 122 so <laughs> anyway there it is this is a pattern by uh, it was originally a crochet along and it was by made by Anita something like that dot uk.co or something <laughs> i'll link it down below in the description box okay um so that is all my works in progress that is crochet related okay so let me go ahead and show you what i've done on the diamond painting okay let me go get it okay so my diamond painting this is the, the i'll go ahead and post pick, pop in a picture right here of what it's gonna look like when it's finished so there it is it's alice in wonderland okay and so this so this is what I have done so far. And so I think what I worked on, it was a, a section at the top, either on this side or this side. I think it was over there. And so now I've got it kind of got it evened off as far as, you know, it, working all the way across. And so I'm really happy with that. I think it, it's looking really good. And so now I need to start working, you know, do another section, working my way up. Um, but yeah, that's what I worked on. Uh, I may go ahead and do some of that tonight to get some more work done on that. Probably, maybe because this is a small piece there, I probably will work on this section right under here. <laughs> anyway, there is my uh, diamond painting so far with that. Okay, so the next works in progress I have is my cross stitch. So, I've got a pretty good section of that done. So, let me show you that. Okay. So there you go. There's my needle minder that my daughter-in-law made for me. And so this time I worked on, let's see, I worked on this shadowing back here. 
and I worked a little bit more on the edge of the bowl here and as you can see I'm kind of working my way getting the shape of it coming down and then I worked down here I worked on this towel section uh, right in there so yeah I got, got a good amount done so I'm uh, pleased with that <laughs> and um, yeah I'm really enjoying it you kind of get on a roll doing it get a rhythm going and you can really you know get get a lot done so looking really good <laughs> okay so that is what I've done now that is a pattern I, I got it out of a cross stitch magazine from from years back it was called like country cross stitch and crafts or something something like that and uh, I, I it was published in 1990 so you know how old that is I mean that my oldest was born in 1990 so it was he was a baby <laughs> and um so I mentioned last time the reason this really stood out to me is because the baby here looks like it's got kind of reddish hair and my my uh my oldest, my my son, he had he has red hair, and so um, that's what drew me to that picture. <laughs> and so anyway, that's how long I've been working on it. I worked on it for several years, and then I stopped, put it up for years and years and years, and then I found it again. And you know, over the years, I do just a tiny bit on it, and then I put it back up again. And it's been a long time since I worked on it. I found it in one of my drawers, and I thought, well, I really need to finish that picture so um that's why i've been picking it up picking it up to work on it, work on it to try to get finished so that is all my works in progress okay uh now i have worked on the crafting with friends project and i showed that yesterday in my crafting with friends video so i've been working on that project project as well if you haven't if you didn't catch that video i'll link it down below in the description box so you can see that let's go on to um other announcements. <laughs> so a couple of weeks ago, I did a product review video from products that have been received by, I have received from One Day Saving, and I was given permission to uh, give away one of those items. And so I'd shown a diamond painting kit of a notebook. Okay. And um, I had did the random YouTube comment picker to draw a winner. And so I had announced the winner of it and it's been two weeks and I haven't received any word or anything. You know, nobody responded and to give me their address, whatever the winner. I hadn't heard from them. <laughs> okay. So I decided to go ahead and um, since it's been two weeks, I haven't heard anything. I went ahead and did the random comment picker again. And so um, I have a new winner for that notebook. So the new winner of the notebook is right here. I will put in a screenshot of the results of the random comment picker. And so there it is right there. It is Cat Crazy Creations. And I do know that Cat Crazy Creations does have a YouTube channel. And so I do know that her name is Sonia. So congratulations, Cat Crazy Creations. And um, make sure you contact me. And I will, um, you know, with your... With, contact me through my email it is listed down below in the description box and give me your address and all that and i will send that package out to you so congratulations again <laughs> okay so that is um that <laughs> and then on to other business uh, let's go on to upcoming okay so for upcoming i have another unboxing in fact i'm getting ready to film it right after i do this one because now it but it won't be posted until friday or saturday probably but i need to go ahead and film it this evening so it'll be the same shirt <laughs> but anyway i'm getting ready to do that is three items that i received from vip cross stitch that i'm going to be reviewing and so um so that's upcoming <laughs> and then uh, i have something else on the way from another company i'll be doing an unboxing with that from them when i get those that those items okay and then also i wanted to let you know that in during october now i've mentioned this a couple of times before that i was going to be participating in a collaboration dur during part of october it's just one week of october in fact it's going to be the week of october i'm looking at my notes <laughs> october the 28th no the 22nd to the 28th it's like sunday through saturday okay and um this is being 
uh, sponsored or headed up by Shannon of the Spoonie Stitcher. She contacted me, asked me if I wanted to participate, and she said I didn't have to do every day if I don't want to. I could just do, you know, one day or whatever, but, you know, during this time. And I said, sure, I think it'd be fun to do. And so I'm going to try to participate each day. Don't know if I will. I'm, I'm trying to plan it out now, but I'm definitely going to be participating in at least a few of the days. Okay, and so what she's calling it is October Opal's Birthday Spirit Week because October is her birthday month, so that's why she wanted to do it um, during October. Uh, she's There's also, I believe, two other people that are, are uh, kind of collaborating with her that kind of help design... Um, put it together. And so I will link down below a video that Shannon did describing this spirit week that's going to be going on. She's got a great video, very informative. And so I'm going to let her describe it and tell you about it. And so I will link it down below in the description box. If you're interested in joining, you don't have to have an October birthday. I don't have an October birthday, but I just thought it would be fun to do this spirit week thing. So each day is like a different theme and you do like a project, some sort of project or show something for each day. And I just think it's going to be really fun to do and I'm looking forward to it. And so if anybody wants to join in, um, whether it be just one of the days or all the days, whether you have a YouTube channel or not, um, I think it's going to be fun. So check the video out. I will put it down below and you can, um, yeah, check it out and see if you want to participate. I hope that you will. I think it's going to be fun. So I'm going to be doing that. And then, um, I had talked about, I was wondering if I wanted to do Vlogtober where you do like a video every day during October, but I don't think... I mean, I'm going to do that spirit week thing, but I don't think I'm going to do a video every day during the month because in November, it's my birthday month. And so I was thinking, well, I might do something special. Probably, I don't know about every day because I, w I definitely want to do Vlogmas, which is every day. And I'm already lining something up for that, I think. But, um, so I might just do like one day a week dedicated to that or whatever I plan to do for my birthday month, which is in November. I don't know, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll have some extra videos coming around, you know, during October and November. Let's just say that. <laughs> okay, um, so that is really all the announcements, I think, all the upcoming that I can remember. <laughs> so I think that is it. I hope everybody has had a wonderful week. I keep thinking that there's something else I'm supposed to mention, but I can't think of what it is, so I guess not. <laughs> okay. So, yes, I hope everybody has had a wonderful week. I hope everybody's going to have a wonderful weekend upcoming. Uh, in next week in Crafting with Friends, I will let you know what I did this this weekend. <laughs> um, yeah, that's kind of my usual schedule. I'll tell you what I did over the weekend on Wednesday. So, um, yeah, I think it sounds like it's going to be a busy weekend. We're going to be around here, but I think it's going to be busy. So, um, I'm babysitting tomorrow. That's why I need to do my un my unboxing the other one in a minute because I'm going to be babysitting grandbaby tomorrow for a little while and then I think he and my son will be here for dinner tomorrow evening so that'll be nice uh, my daughter-in-law has plans for tomorrow she's gonna to be busy working on some stuff and so that's why she won't be here but the rest of the, the other two will be here <laughs> Okay, so that's what I'm doing tomorrow. And then, like I said, I'll, I'll let you know what I did over the weekend after, after the fact. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's all. So I'm going to go. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks so much, everybody that has recently subscribed to my channel. Uh, welcome to my channel. I appreciate it so much. Uh, love everybody's comments, as always. So, um, yeah, hope you find something in my channel that you like. Have a great weekend. Have a great next few days until we see each other again. So until we see each other again, I'll see you later in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>